Hey, uh, I'm going to try to teach Josh Wilson's Before the Morning. Um, mainly the intro, verse, one, picking, and the bridge. Uh, I'll show the chord shapes for the other parts, though. Um, my guitar is tuned standard tuning with a capo on the first fret. I'm mainly playing along with uh, Josh's live version that he played on uh, Spirit 105.3. Um, I have a link to that video. Uh, check the video description box, or maybe it's in the tab I forget it's all there um, okay uh, let's start with the intro then. so it goes like that um, mainly you have your uh, Using, you're mainly using one finger at a time. This is called alternate picking, um, where your right hand, it's almost like a strumming motion, constant up and down motion, except you're picking individual strings. So the first four notes you see on the tab, starting with the G, is an up, down, I mean, uh, down, up, down, up. So it's like down, up, down, up, like that. Next three notes are up, down, up. And then the next group of notes are up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? So I'll try to go in a slow but smooth motion here. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Got it? And then you move on to your next bass, which is a C. Do the same exact pattern. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Go to your E minor. Um, technically, you don't need to put your finger here, but you put it here just in case. Second fret, fifth string. Just in case you accidentally pick it. Because this is part of the E minor chord, so if you accidentally pick it, it'll still sound good. So, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then when you come back to your C here, it gets half the time because it's split with the D up here. So, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And that's all for the intro. Uh, going into the verse, very similar. It goes like this. Uh, so it's like, do you? Um, so think of a count of four, okay? And there are groups each, so one, two, three, four. Each of those will get um, an up, down, up. So I'm repeating up, down, up four times, except the first up, down, up will get um, a down preceding it. So it's like down, up, down, up. That's the first one, okay? So down, up, down, up. That's what you already know. And then there are the next three up, down, ups. Okay? So down. Two, three, four. And then move right into your next bass, which is a C. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, one, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Repeat as needed. Um, and that's verse one. The chorus, the chords are like this. Chord shapes are like this. Um, you have your G. Middle finger. My middle finger is slightly touching the fifth string. That's where I have my X. It means muted. This G. D over F sharp. So it looks like this. Okay. Um, e minor seven. G over B. My thumb is blocking the sixth string to mute it, so your bass is here. C. Middle finger blocking the fourth string. D sus4. Would you dare, would you dare to believe that you still have a reason to sing? Cause the pain that you've been feeling. Can't compare to
to the joy that's coming. Um, that's how the chorus goes. The interlude goes like this. I'll go slowly. So, um, I'm going really slow here, but, uh, Josh, in the live version, for the verse 2, he doubles the strumming, so he's fitting in twice as many strums as normal, so it's like... But, if that's kind of hard for you, you could just do uh, the normal strumming speed, so it's like... My friend, uh, you know how this all ends, and you know where you're going. Go like that until verse 2 sing the chorus. Interlude 2 is just like interlude 1 except you play, you kind of repeat it again but instead of the second time when you repeat it you don't start with a G, you start with an E minor 7. Okay? So it's like yeah. He stops like that. Then now the bridge um, picking. You, it's very much like the intro and uh, and the uh, verse. The patterns are similar, but you give each chord only like two counts. So it's like two counts, meaning like up, down, up. That's enough. And you move on to the next space. So it's very simple. One finger, move along the fifth string. Start with third fret. So down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Move over to the fifth fret. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Second fret. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Um, play the bridge through completely like that one time, picking like that. So it's like. Don't you feel the weight of glory? Anyways, I'm messing up. Second time you repeat the bridge, uh, Josh, what he does, he does that double strumming again. Um, I'm messing up a bit. You could do it like that, or you could just do the normal strum half that speed. So like, Once you feel the weight of glory. And uh, that's pretty much it for the whole song. Uh, I think you know everything. Interlude 3 is slightly different. Is it? Slightly, because you end it with a D. D sus 2. But um, that's pretty much it, so I hope that helped. Have fun with it.